Today I'm excited to be talking with Ann Horton, who is the Director of Camp and Retreat Ministry for the Susquehanna Conference. Thank you for stopping by, Ann. You're welcome. I'm glad to be here today. So I'm excited to talk with you about the camping um, ministry because I also went, I went to camp whenever um, I was younger, but I'd kind of like you to start off talking about some of the other programs that you have that aren't just for kids. They're great for kids, but you have a lot of other opportunities. Yes, we do, Brittany. Uh, this year and in the future, we are planning a lot more for adults, especially to go to Mount Asbury. Now we have quilting and scrapbooking camp that happens at Green Hills and Wesley Forest, but we are also providing some spiritual nourishment for folks, and these will be happening at, West, at Mount Asbury. We're offering two silent retreats, one in the spring and one in the fall. That will be time day events where people will come, arrive around 9 or 9.30. The program will start at 9.30 and go to about 4 in the afternoon, but it's a time just for you to be quiet, to, it will be a structured time so that there's someone there who will be leading you through that time. Then we're offering also a spiritual refreshment retreat, also a day event, and we're also offering what I call a uh, be still retreat. Most of us don't know how to be still. We're always constantly moving, 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 and think that's the pace we need to keep, and I know that oftentimes it gets to be an overload. Mm -hmm. So it helps us to at least take one day where I know it's good for me where I can go and just unplug, mm -hmm. leave the phone off or leave it at home and not have to worry about what's happening out in the quote, the real world and spend time alone with God and to hear how he's calling or wanting to touch my life in different ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it is a really good time to unplug. At least whenever I was a camper, I know that you weren't allowed to even bring technology with you and mm -hmm. it was just a nice time to be in God's creation and get to know your other campers and. Um, just to grow spiritually. So what are some ways that you feel like you see people growing spiritually when they come to the conference camps? Well, I think it's, it's a time when, yes, they do unplug. For the camper, I think they have adults who work with them as counselors, whom they look at as mentors and can help them in their journey of faith. One, to not only see how God is working in someone else's life, but also to experience that touch of God in those particular points. I know that there have been individuals, one young lady who came, had never slept outside or been outside in a camping setting, had never slept in a cabin at all. Okay. And she was from the inner city. She was not used to the night noises. She was used to the city noises. Okay. And so it took her a little while to get adjusted and to not get real nervous when an owl would hoot in the middle of the night and wake mm -hmm. her up. She tried not to be scared, but I learned that what she liked the most was going on all the hikes because she realized that God was more there, she felt like, than in the city with mm -hmm. her at home, that she could see God in nature, and I think she went on every hike that was possible during the week. Then I also know that young people have had the opportunity to experience Christ through their own individual bunkmates as a young man, a young boy, um, took a fall on the trail and before the counselors took him down the trail back to the nurse to see the nurse and possibly, and he did end up going to have an x-ray done at the hospital, the campers gathered around and prayed for him. Mm. And that touched him more so than anything else that week and the doctor said, well, you can either go back to camp or you can go home. Now his mom had arrived at the hospital and she, of course, wanted him to go home, but he said, Mom, I've never felt more cared for and loved by the campers in my family group than right now, so I'd really like to go back to camp. So the doctor gave him his crutches, and he went back and had a fabulous rest of the week. So it's really an awesome time for young people. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I can relate. I had um, my grandfather was in the hospital whenever I was at camp, and I know that all of my bunkmates rallied around me and mm -hmm. um, and prayed for him and for the comfort for the family. And um, it just is a really neat time to bond with other brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, 
What are some new things that are happening at the camps this year? Well, this year we're offering an archery camp. Hmm. It'll be a three-day experience at Green Hills. We've had archery as an activity mm -hmm. at Green Hills, but we're deciding to move towards actually having the three-day experience or a full-week experience for young people to go and take part and learn how to do archery. Um, all, we have always had family camps, but this particular one's at Wesley Forest, and it's called a family service weekend. It'll be Memorial Day weekend, a Friday night through a Sunday lunch. And they'll have the opportunity, they'll be doing service projects around camp. So the family can come for $75. That'll help cover all the food costs. And they'll be cleaning up the trails, getting them ready for the summer, uh, possibly getting things out that we need to have out and ready for campers to take part in and make sure everything's you know, ready for folks when they arrive in June. That's a neat way for the family to work together and then to also help out the camps, not just monetarily, but be actually out there and cleaning up the trails and that's so forth. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, very neat. Um, what are some ways that people can donate to the camp if perhaps they're not going, but they find that it's a really great program and they want to support it? Okay, they can always go on to our website at susumcamps.org and they can donate to make a financial contribution on our donate button on our home page. They can check out the wish list that is found on our website under resources, I believe, and they can check to see what are the items that Camp Penn needs or what are the items Wesley Forest, Green Hills, or Mount Asbury need, and then they can either make that monetary donation, which is generally what we ask, but if they want to actually go out and purchase that, then I would encourage them to talk with a site director at that point to make sure they're picking up the right thing. Excellent. What are some ways that people can learn more about how to register for camps and when is that due? Okay, they can start registering now. Our, you can register online. We've also sent out to all of the camping list, whoever is a member, or whoever has uh, registered on our Facebook, not our Facebook, well, we're all on Facebook. All four sites are on Facebook. Okay. So, but you can register through the camping website online. You can send in a paper application, but this booklet has already gone to all of our churches and to our mailing list, to all of our camping coordinators. We have a number of churches who have already asked for more. Great. So that, that is wonderful. We're also ahead number-wise from last year to this year in our registration. So that's an oh, awesome excellent. piece. Yeah. But there's an application form inside the brochure, or they can register online as well. Online is quicker because then you'll know for sure whether you actually got the camp that you want. Okay. Okay, because we do have uh, one particular, two particular camps that are already filling up. Oh, my goodness. So even this early, it's already the end of January, so it's getting close. And when is the registration deadline? The first registration deadline, it's our early bird registration, is April the 1st. Okay. And then the next one will be, um, well, there's not a second deadline. It's just until the camp starts. We always okay. like for folks to register at least a week or two before camp so that we are prepared for them to be to actually be there. All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing about the camping program. If you would like to learn more about how you can register or donate and help out the camps, um, I'll be sure to post a link to their website and their Facebook pages on my Facebook page at Susquehanna Express. Thanks.